Hey everybody, we're doing another Python tutorial. Uh, this is just more practice uh, with some lists. And so if you haven't done the first list tutorial, you may want to take a look at that one on the YouTube page. And then once you watch that, then you'll be kind of ready to go on to this one probably. Alright, so uh, here's just a example of a uh, way we could have a user add information to a list and so we're going to just use this as a as a shopping list maker so we'll get started so I'm going to type on here print welcome to shop list.py your favorite shopping list application All right, there's our first line. So just a simple print. All right, and then we're going to make our list. We'll call it shop list is equal to, and we'll use our brackets right there. Then I'm going to put on here add equals input. This is going to be our variable for how or what we're going to be adding and if we want to add something to it. So I'm going to type in here, want to add something to your shopping list. And I'm going to put Y or N. So they just have to type in a letter. So that'll work right there. And then we're going to use a while loop so we can have an unlimited amount of things added to this. So the way that will work, we'll put in while add, which is our variable up there. And I'm going to say while add lower so that way it doesn't matter if they type it in uppercase or lowercase. So I'm going to say while add lower is equal to lowercase y. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to make another variable on here. And we'll say item is equal to input. Enter your item to the list. OK. So that's how we'll use that so they can type in whatever it is that they're wanting to shop. Then underneath that I'm going to type in shop list which is the list name append item. So that means whatever item is typed in it's going to be added into the list. Then underneath that we'll put in add is equal to input want to add to your shopping list y or n so then if they say no we'll be done adding to it if they say yes it'll take us back up and we'll add another item to the list so there's our while loop now I'm going to put in a blank space underneath that so we don't get too much text jumbled in there uh, when we're done adding to the list. Then I'll put in here is your alphabetized shopping list. So now we'll kind of sort our list a little bit just to add another kind of function of this program that we haven't used in any of the tutorials yet. So I'm going to put on here shoplist.sort and that's going to alphabetize it. If it was listed in numbers it would go from a uh, value from low to high. And then after that we can use for list item in shoplist 
and list item is just something that I'm going to use to print out each of these elements in the list alright and then shop list is my actual list so I could have made this whatever I wanted to but I'm saying for list item in shop list then I'm going to type print list item alright let's give this thing a test okay so we're running the program welcome to shoplist.py your favorite shopping list application want to add something to your shopping list while you're in so I'm going to put a lowercase y just to test it and I'm gonna say yep what do we want to add to the list alright so let's just start off hamburgers Okay, and it says, do you want to add to your shopping list? This time I'll use a capital Y and make sure it works that way. I'm going to say, yes, I want to add to it. Enter item on the list. All right, so we'll type milk. Want to add something? Let's say yes. Uh, what do we want to add? So I'll type bread. Okay, so let's say this is our whole list here I didn't type these in there alphabetically so if I was going to be making the list the list would stand as hamburgers milk bread alright but now when I type no according to my code it's going to take me out and it's going to alphabetize it's going to sort the shop list and then we'll print it out so I'm going to type no or n for no it says here's your alphabetized shopping list hamburgers bread milk so there we go we used uh, more ways to utilize a list in Python and then uh, we incorporated a while loop with it we use the dot lower as a more user-friendly way to enter in uh, responses by the user and then uh, we also sorted our list and then printed each item of the list in alphabetical order so there we have it thanks again and um, again Make this, change it however you want to to suit your needs and, and let me know what you did. Talk to you later.